You are welcome to another session of Practicum in Science Teaching, SED 305, Computer Science Option, Computer Science Education Option. Today, we want to look at another aspect that will be of assistance to you as a teacher in the school, especially when it comes to preparing your lessons, sourcing for materials, and also communicating your students. Today we'll be looking at the electronic mail. In this 21st century, definitely you cannot be an effective teacher without having an electronic mail and using them. Electronic mail, abbreviated email, is a method of exchanging messages from one person who is the author to another who is a receiver. With mail, you all know, you can send letters, notes, you can send different things to people. It is fast. You don't need to interrupt anybody when sending your mail. And of course, you can receive email and attend to it when it is convenient. It is cost effective. The distance you are sending it to will not dictate the amount you have to pay. Now, before you do anything that has to do with electronic mail, you must be able to have an account. I'm sure as a noun teacher trainee, you already have an account. Because if you don't have a personal electronic mail account, I don't see how you'll be able to operate on the program. And of course, too, when it comes to teaching your students, you and your students too, you need to have these accounts. We will start with today how to open an account. Maybe the account you're operating now, you just told your son or your brother to go and open for you. And sometimes you give people the password because you don't know how to open one and operate it. Or sometimes you give people password and they have access to your information. You need to be in control of what you are doing. You should be able to open one. Very briefly, how do you open an account? There are different types of accounts. You can have a Yahoo account, you can have Hotmail, you can have Gmail, and there are several others. But we would look at opening a Gmail account today. How do you actually open a Gmail account? The steps are easy, and of course they are user-friendly too. You open a Gmail account by typing www.gmail.com www.gmail.com on your URL. And then, if you don't have any account before, it will take you to an environment where you will click on create account and then you have to fill some set of information and then you click on the next button, then you follow the instruction and you'll be there. But let me say this ahead of the time. To effectively open an account, you should have your handset with phone number that is working, that is active, and you should have some amount inside, inside it because Gmail will be sending a message to you. So let's quickly look at how to do it, to open an account. Now I want to open an account, a Gmail account. Well, supposing you don't have any before, I already have, but I want to open one now. So you go to URL, this place I'm putting, this is the URL here. Uniform Resource Locator. So you type here www.gmail.com and then you can click enter. It will take you to that environment. Now you have to also see something here. Where this is taking me to it's an existing email because I already have a Gmail account and I've been using G this Gmail account all along. So my system automatically takes me there. That tells you how easy it is to even operate it. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we want to open a new one. I will need to sign out what I have here. You click on that J and then you click on sign out. And then let's try to see how to open another one. 
Now, already the accounts I have are already lined up here. You can see them. But I want to open another one. So I will go to use another account. And then see, you can see next. You can see create an account. Because there was an account already there. If I wanted to sign in, I will use next. But in this case, I, I'm trying to open a new account. You see create account. If you did not have a Gmail account previously, you will simply see this create account and you click on it. But I had to go through all this because I had one. So if you click on create account, you have two options for myself or to manage my business. I've clicked for myself. This is what I'm talking about. Then you have to see, fill this set of information here. But while you are filling the information, you must keep you must take keep track of some of the things we are filling there. Now I can I will just fill something. Now you have um, I want to fill here my first name. Since I already have this thing, I will fill something else. I have Timothy and then last name Garba. And then you have a username. I must choose a username so that I'll be able to have a new Gmail account. Supposing I choose Timothy Garba. And then here I must choose a password. I want to choose the pa password Timothy 2019 because my password must contain letters and numbers. Then I must confirm the password. I must not forget it. Timothy 2019. And then you see next here. You simply click next. As I told you, it's user friendly. Now he's telling me here that Timothy Garba has been used before by somebody. So I will have to alter this. He's giving me options here. I either put 77 along with Timothy Garba or 239. So let's take 77. And then the password and uh, you, the password and confirmation of password is already there. Then you have next. Now, I is asking me to put a phone number. I must use a phone number that is active that I can receive message from. So I have a, a SIM inside this inside this particular tab. So I'm going to use the phone the number in on the SIM here. So you can see zero nine zero two nine four seven four five six three. Then it's telling me to click next. So I'll click next. Now it's telling me here that for security reasons, it's going to send me a code so that I would need that code to be able to open the account eventually. Now the text message has just come in now. I want to open my text message. You can see it. G, capital G, then dash 486286. 486286. So I have to type this, then click on verify. Just follow the instruction. You will not miss it. Then I type this, click on verify, and then is asking for recovery email. In the event where you have problem with this mail, you must type one of your mails here so that you can use that to be able to recover the mail that is missing. So I'm going to use one of my existing mails as the recovery mail here. Then it's asking for my date of birth. We're having July one two thousand so i put that as my date of birth then gender i'm of the male extraction see next here just follow the instruction and then you'll be there then he's asking me options whether i want to receive video calls and all this i'll just tell you to skip that I'm not interested in that. I just want to open email. Now, before the transaction is completed, you must sign an agreement that you actually agree with their terms and conditions, with their policy. And that is what we're having here 
on the screen. So you must click agree. If you don't agree, it will not go. The transaction will not be completed. So I just clicked agree now and waiting for the next action. So I'm still waiting. I haven't clicked agree. The next thing is to have this next message here. Let's see the message. Yes. So here you have, then you need to click next. It's welcoming me that the mail is open, so I need to click next. So it's still coming. Still coming. So the, the message has finally landed that I've been able to open an account, Timothy Garba77 at gmail.com. But you need to remember your password, your username to be able to sign in. I expect you that by the time you are opening yours, you have a sheet of paper, you have written your password, your username, and the recovery email, as well as the phone number you use. That is the end of it. Very easy. Subsequently, you can use it to communicate your friends, communicate your students, communicate your colleagues. See you during the next presentation.